For months, people who live in a floral city neighborhood have been pleading for help. They have been flooded, and now they're fed up. And the county has stepped in to sort of remedy the issue. News Channel 8's Chip Polsowski joining us live from the Castle Lake subdivision. He has an update. You've been following this for a while now, Chip. Absolutely, Keith. And you can imagine folks out here are not looking forward to any rain. And you probably remember it looked much like this several weeks ago. No real change. This is a subdivision filled with single family homes and mobile homes, and it's looked more like a lake than a castle for the past eight weeks. The county, as you said, is working to resolve the problem, but we wanted to know it, is it doing enough? And, and listen, when I say that we appreciate any help we get, I'm serious. You know, I'm not criticizing the, the county for not helping enough. Chuck Byer and his neighbors in Floral City are fed up with the floodwaters. The county recently sent in tanker trucks to suck up some of the water. Louis Baggerman also appreciates the gesture, but... but the way I see it is that trying to empty a bathtub with a shot glass. This needs some serious equipment to get this done. You know what I mean? From Drone 8, you can see the area in question. The Castle Lake subdivision is just to the east of US 41, south of Inverness. The neighborhood sits in a low-lying area, so the water really has nowhere to go. And despite weeks of drier weather, very little has evaporated, leaving people who live here with little hope for change. Buyer has one word for county commissioners. Help. We're thankful for what they're doing, but this is this is going to take forever yeah. using the system that they're using now. And if we continue to get rain once a week, even every couple of weeks, everything that they have done is going to be for naught. And we're still waiting on a response from county commissioners for a progress report on the project. And also hear what the Florida Department of Health and Citrus has to say about the situation tonight at 6. Reporting live in Citrus County, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.